So what is the question? Yes. Consider a person who consumes two commodities X and Y and has utility function X plus Y minus Y square by two. Let good uh, X be the numerator. So what is yes. what is the utility function? X plus Y minus Y square by two. X plus Y minus Y square by two. Okay. Yes. Let good X be the numerator and consider price vectors of the form one comma P Y, where P Y is the price of good by. When will this consumer choose to consume positive amount of Y in equilibrium? Okay, so you have to figure out under what condition this guy will consume positive amount of Y in equilibrium, right? I mean, that's all that you have to do. Okay, right? Okay. Uh, so, I mean, again, there are many ways in which you can do this problem. Uh, uh, so, you can plot the indifference curves and that's how you can do it. Okay. Uh, or you can also convert it into a one variable optimization problem and that's how you can do it. Okay, uh, so uh, You can also use uh, you know Lagrangian method or you know, whatever way you like I mean you can use uh, whichever whichever method you're comfortable with uh, and you can do this. Okay, uh, so So basically, you know, this is the kind of problem that we are interested in solving. Okay, because X is numerator, so PX is one plus PYY, okay, uh, is less than or equal to M. Okay, okay. Now because good X is desirable here, okay, so we can actually ignore this less than or equal to sign. We can just replace it by equal to sign. The reason is because he's never going to consume. Uh, less than what he earns in optimum. The reason is because you can always increase X and move to the budget line, right? Okay, and increase his satisfaction level. So he's never going to spend less than what he has in optimum. Okay, and of course we have non-negativity constraints. Okay, so this is the problem that we are interested in solving. Okay, uh, so how do we solve this? Uh, well, you can plot the level curves, and that's how you can do it. Okay. Uh, we are interested in condition under which y is positive in equilibrium, right? I mean, that's what we have to find, right? Okay, fine. Yes, that's the question. So, okay, okay, okay. So let's solve this problem. Okay. So what I'm going to do is this. Uh, let me convert this into a one variable optimization problem okay and then do it okay uh, so you already know the indifference curve method let me do it in a different way this this particular problem let me do it uh you know using uh you know converting into one variable optimization problem and then solving it okay uh so you can try the indifference curve approach yourself you know that's you know just take that as an exercise okay Uh, okay, so what is X? X is nothing but M minus PYY. Okay, so I'm going to replace X by M minus PYY. Okay, and then you're going to get M minus PYY plus Y minus Y squared by two. Okay, and then this is now just uh, a problem in one variable. Okay, now all that you have to do is, uh, you know, uh, what is the lowest value of y? Well, lowest value of y possible is zero. What is the highest value of y possible? It's actually m by py. Okay, right? Because you cannot spend, uh, you know, more than m. Okay, on y. Okay. Uh, so basically, this is how you can convert it into one variable optimization problem. Okay. Now this is actually very very simple. Okay. All that you have to do is just take the derivative and uh, see how the graph looks. And then just figure out, you know, what's going to be the solution. Okay. So if you take the derivative of this, what are we going to get? Well, uh, so the derivative of this is minus py plus one minus y, right? Okay. Now, if you plot this, okay. Do you agree that when y is less than so I'm I'm actually you know um, I'm plotting the derivative function okay I'm plotting the derivative I mean you can also plot the the objective function that's totally your wish 
okay uh, but you know plotting the derivative function will be enough so i'm just plotting this okay so uh, this y is on the horizontal axis okay and the derivative is on the vertical axis okay uh, so if you see when y is close to zero what is the derivative here and minus what is the sign of the derivative what is the sign of the derivative uh, well it is 1 minus py so let's say y is zero so what is the derivative what is the derivative 1 minus py okay now so if py is greater than one okay what do you think will happen if py is greater than one the derivative will be negative okay and the derivative will be negative throughout right i mean if i keep increasing y it will stay negative do you agree so what is the interpretation of that what what does this tells you about this particular function as a function of y if its derivative with respect to y is negative then what does this tells you about this particular function when when do we say that the derivative is negative derivative tells you what sign of the derivative so it's tells a you decreasing what? function it's a decreasing function of y do you agree yes it's a decreasing function of y so if y is greater than or equal to one okay this function is a decreasing function of y now if it is a decreasing function of y what do you think will be your utility maximizing choice if you are choosing between zero and m by py i equal to zero zero very good right because it's decreasing so you are not going to uh choose more of it right i mean you're just going to say okay i'm i'm happy with zero units of y okay uh so y d is zero if py is greater than or equal to one okay and if py is less than one then what happens notice that when py is less than one and y is close to zero then this term is positive yes okay then in that case you know if you just plot this it will be still downward sloping but you know there will be some positive uh, you know it takes some positive values over over this range do you agree yes or no okay and then you know he's just he's just going to pick uh, you know uh, m by py or you know uh, this point whichever is smaller okay uh, but but the key thing is that if py is less than one then he's going to choose positive amount of y okay so let me just write the demand quickly for you okay uh, so it is minimum of m by py comma uh, so y will be equal to one minus py if py is less than one okay uh, so but but the key thing is that this term is positive okay uh, so this is a requirement okay if py is less than one then uh, he's going to consume positive amount of y in equilibrium okay so condition under which y will be positive in equilibrium is py less than one 